on Memorial Day weekend 2008, people from all over the West came to Ramona, California to participate in the dog sport known as fly ball. So what is fly ball? Fly ball is a dog sport in which a handler releases their dog, which runs down a straight track going over four jumps. Grabbing its spring-loaded tennis ball off a box, then jumping back over the same four jumps to their handler. It can be done in groups of four, groups of two, or singles. All types of dogs participate in fly ball. Here's Christine Davis of the online magazine Inside Flyball. Sorts of dogs. It's poodles, it's corgis, it's you know, you name it. And it's the dogs that love the sports. So in a sport dominated by border collies, cattle dogs, and Australian shepherds, this weekend all eyes were focused on one breed. And one breed only. The Welsh Pembroke Corgi. While there are several theories on the dog's origins, we do know that the word corgi comes from the Celtic word for dog. And that the Welsh corgi breed was developed in Pembrokeshire, Wales. Believe it or not, these brave and hardy dogs were used primarily for herding cattle and sheep. Amazingly, due to their short stature and speed, these dogs would command the respect of the larger animal. So with racing officials standing by, Let's take a moment to introduce the racers. First, a sweet little female owned and handled by Shelly Packer of Henderson, Nevada, named Sushi. Sushi also runs as a height dog on the Atomic Dogs of Henderson Flyball Team. A height dog is a dog which allows the jump height to be set at a lower level to allow the other bigger dogs to jump at a lower height. Shelly Packer, owner and handler of Sushi. And um, how old is Sushi? Sushi's just turned three. Just turned three. So and how much, is, how much does she weigh? Sushi weighs 30 pounds. 30 pounds. And what is Sushi's fastest time? 5.2, I believe. 5.2? I think she uh, broke the record with that time at one time. So are you excited? Are you nervous? Oh, are we're you... so excited. A little nervous. A little nervous? We're excited. Um, you realize there's a lot of other corgis here watching this? I know, this. I've seen them all. That's, and what, what, and uh, are, you, are you surprised with the turnout? I, I am, I am, but I, all I have to say is they are going to watch a superstar today. Very good. I hope they all look up to Sushi and say, hey, we can do that too. Competing against Sushi is a handsome male from Palm Springs, California. Handled by Brenda Mengia and owned by Carol Haskell. Introducing Timmy. Here's his owner, Carol Haskell. Timmy's, I think he's three. He's three years old. And approximately how much do you think he weighs? Right now he's probably 33 pounds. 33 pounds. And uh, what does Timmy like to eat? What's his, you know, anything. anything. He's a ferocious <laughs> eater. <laughs> he likes, and what's, what's his favorite toy? Tennis ball. Tennis ball, he likes tennis ball. <laughs> Both dogs, relatively young, have only been racing for a year to year and a half. A veteran of Corgi racing is a dog named Tucker. Tucker's owner, Lynn Jordan. Uh, I got Tucker when he was about 18 months, and he's been racing ever since, and he's going to be nine. I believe. Nine years old. What was his time today? Didn't see. <laughs> we'll look later. I'll look later. Um, what um, what's his fastest time ever though when he was younger? It was uh, well, he held the uh, fastest corgi in U fly for uh, like four years in a row. Three years in a row. Yeah, three or four. Um, it was five, six, or something like that. Something like that. And uh, real realistically, have you ever seen other corgis? Uh, no, but there had never been any other corgis in U fly until everybody showed up. <laughs> right. So what do you think of the big showdown today between? I think uh, it's gonna be cool, and Tucker's on the sidelines. Cheering. Right, we'll definitely get him yeah. cheering. Um, sushi, um, Timmy, um, what do you think? What's, what's your prediction? 
I mean, you, if anyone would make a good prediction to you, you've seen I them both sushi. race. Sushi, sushi seems to be the best that I've seen so far. But I haven't seen Timmy that much. So, but Sushi seems to have it. And so the SmackDown was set. Timmy on the far lane, Sushi on the near lane. Race official Randy Kenzie making sure everyone is set. Randy Kenzie again checks the box loaders, okay. checks the line judges, and checks his racers, and starts the countdown. And they're off. Sushi gets a great start, but Timmy gets an amazing turn, and at the finish, the impossible. A tie. Look at this in slow motion. The dog stretching it out, jumping almost in unison and crossing the finish line after one last leap together. Incredible. What amazing little athletes. Next heat, it appears that Sushi gets off to a great start. However, upon further review, she was released early. Because of her early start, Susha participates in a rerun. Dog runs a solo run down the track, crossing the finish line. The next race, a clean start. However, Timmy is way ahead and shatters the Corgi record. Notably with Timmy shattering the 5.0 barrier for all Corgis, running a 4.949. Again, Timmy's owner, Carol Haskell. Timmy loves fly ball. He certainly does. Yeah, he just loves any tennis ball, loves it, loves it, loves it. Loves it. And of course, his good trainer, uh, Brenda. What did you think about the tie? Wasn't that incredible? That was incredible. Just so much fun. I didn't think fly ball could be so much fun. Yeah. Sushi is a great little dog. And we, we're going to meet her again later. So we'll see what happens. All right. Thank you very much. Congratulations. The rest of the race is won by Timmy, hands down. He outperformed himself and exceeded his expectations. However, Sushi helped her team, the Atomic Dogs of Henderson, get a first place finish in their division for the tournament. Both dogs ran their hearts out, and they should be commended on a job well done. Thanks for watching the Corgi Smackdown.